Hi, I'm Jim Bellasera, president and founder of Successful Thinkers, and I'm sitting next to someone who's become a very dear friend of mine. Uh, Mike McDonough actually opened up the Alameda chapter uh, in California. Uh, how long ago was that, Mike? A year and three months ago. So a year and three months ago, Michael opened up the chapter. And because of his uh, excitement and enthusiasm about opening the chapter, he's also helped us open on a creek, and he's just been instrumental in just a lot of different things that have been going on with successful thinkers, and we've been humbled, honored, excited about uh, Michael's en uh, enthusiasm to be a part of the, this family, and I just wanted to, to share Michael's enthusiasm with you and kind of ask him what, what encouraged him to become a part of this, this family. Well, that's a good question. I've given that some thought, and to tell you, really, uh, many years ago in the beginning of my career, I was a cold call cowboy. I made over 300 dials every single day just to try to talk to 10 people. And I soon realized that that wasn't the best way to go. Referrals were the best way to get business. And even in referrals, you know, you have to overcome the trust factor. And so I found that that was the best way to do it, though, was through referrals. So I joined networking groups like the Chamber and some other traditional type groups. And I quickly found that the chamber didn't have enough uh, networking opportunities, and those other groups cost too much to be a, to a part of. And someone told me sometime, you know, you should try Successful Thinkers. So I went to the Foster City chapter, and I liked it so much. I loved the culture of know, like, and trust. But I realized that people in my own backyard in Alameda would want to have exposure to this kind of thing. And I was a part of the chamber there, and they weren't giving me enough networking opportunities. So I decided I wanted to bring successful thinkers to Alameda. So I talked to the head of that chapter, and they told me to you, and that's when we first met, and it's been a good story ever since. You know, you have an interesting story, because we kind of, and, and I don't really mean this as a total replacement, but we are kind of a replacement for networking versus, you know, going to the Chamber of Commerce. But you um, are a member of Chamber of Commerce, and you actually made yourself a member really under the name Successful Thinkers. That's correct. Tell me about that. Well, as the chairman of the Ambassador Committee and the chairman of the Business Education Committee for the Chamber, part of why I started it was to give Alameda residents and businesses an opportunity to network. But I wanted to have some sort of uh, kindred spirit with the Chamber. Uh, so rather than just ask them to promote us, I joined under them under Successful Thinkers name so that they would know we're a member and they basically had to promote us <laughs> a little bit. And so, you know, even today, I promote the Chamber at our Successful Thinkers events and really recently we've become the, the official networking group for the Alameda Chamber. So every new member gets a flyer that says Successful Thinkers, our official networking group because they knew they needed more networking, and we do it every week. They had monthly mixers that were more like parties. Nobody does a lot of business. They just go in there and drink wine and have fun. And, of course, we have a lot of fun, but we're there to find leads and, and build a client base and, and create a referral base. And so that's why I brought it to Alameda in the first place, and it's worked out really well for both the Chamber and for us. Well, you know the Successful Thinkers culture is way different than traditional networking. Um, it, give me something from an emotional perspective that really caused you to, I mean, take ownership of Alameda. And, you know, you've, you're a leader of leaders uh, in Alameda, no question about it. And you encourage other people to become leaders within your, your chapter. So something's driving you internally besides, obviously, the business side of it. Well, you know... When I first started the group, it was a matter of prospecting for me, really. Bringing something to Alameda businesses was, was another idea. But when I first started networking, when I joined the chamber, it was all about prospecting and how not to make 300 calls a day. And as part of their business education, uh, the chairman of their committee, I also was interested in educating them, uh, the businesses there, about wh whatever kind of business topics we could. And I found that successful thinkers allowed me to bring both to Alameda, where we could educate them through the speakers. And I, today, even today, I'm very diligent about who we have speak there. The most important thing for me about the speakers is that they can educate. And, of course, we get to network and we meet uh, potential clients there and get referrals there. But it's all about providing service to the community. And it's the know, like, and trust culture that really sets us apart. 
So your, your initial question was um, our culture, basically, what, how that makes us different from the chamber and others. Well, I think that we have brought that culture to our chamber, and uh, people respond to that. They're tired of the same old networking philosophies. We want to provide a safe environment so somebody can come to a networking opportunity and not get pitched by everybody in the room. And the fact that we suggest that they meet one-on-ones, uh, like appointments with each other, during the week, I tell them every week, you know, there's before the next meeting, there's after the next meeting, and there's six other days in the week that you can get to know some of the people in this room. And people really respond to that, and that is that is what's helped us to build the chapter. It is it is different, but it's the way business is done. I say every week that no one ever did business with me because I gave them a business card. It's because they grew to, like, hopefully, know me, like me, and maybe trust me, and, and that's the environment we provide. And I say, so if that's the way business is really done, then why don't we do it on purpose that way? And they all cheer. I mean, it, it's the culture that makes us different and makes us special. Well, Michael, um, I just want to say thank you for your leadership, your uh, participation, your loyalty, and for raising other leaders in the Alameda area, as well as other areas uh, within Successful Thinkers. And we look forward to continued growth and. And who knows what the future holds, right? That's right. I look forward to it. All right. Thank you very much.